Welcome to one more episode of Tools for Thought Onboarding. In this series, I share the experience of joining a tool for the first time, all the goods and all the bads. And today we'll be looking at Glasp, which is a social web highlighter where you can highlight web pages and can share with other people. So you can share your ideas and someone can share their ideas about exactly the same source. And today I have the CEO of Glasp, Kazuki Nakayashiki, joining me to go through this process of checking how is to onboard a tool for the first time. Let's check it out. So, hello, Kazuki. Uh, thanks a lot for having this onboarding session with me. Uh, I'm really interested to know a little bit more about Glass. And I say, I will not check the website. I will not check the website so that I could uh, have this, this real experience uh, with you here today. Uh, so I think uh, for us to start, maybe could you tell us a little bit of what Glass is? Uh, what is the purpose of the tool? What's the intended aim of the tool? Who should be using using the tool, in your opinion? Yes, uh, thank you so much for having me. And yeah, so I'm so you know excited to to share you know what we do at Grasp. And yeah, so Grasp is like a social curation platform, and like where people can share what they are reading and watching and the snippets of their learning. And we call it like a social learning log logging you know what you are learning and then yeah so it's like a the tool and a platform for like a content creators you know newsletter writers and content writers marketers researchers and those people who like uh consuming a lot of information then process it then share something like uh, you know as an output for, for for themselves or for other people like teammates friends uh, or you know sharing something in public and uh, yeah so the the purpose uh, of grasp you know uh, you know is like uh, to allow people to share like uh, their digital footprint or digital legacy for other people and this project started you know like from my personal experience and, and when i was 20 i had a subdural hematoma so the left side of my body paralyzed and I was almost dead. But since then, I've been thinking of, at the time, I was so scared. At the same time, I was like uh, wondering how, before I die, I really wanted to leave something for other people so that my digital legacy or legacy can contribute to someone, something. So we want to have uh, the platform, something like that. And, and so, yeah, that's how we started. And that's our mission and the purpose of this, you know, project I'm behind this project. Well, thanks a lot for sharing that. I really like that to talk about learning snippets that really resonated with me. And thanks a lot for sharing your story because it's really nice when you see that something came from a moment like we have that moment of realization and then comes a whole passion for like really bringing something forward. I had my own story, not sharing here today. Uh, but I really, I really like, uh, I really want to see like, what is the outcome of that passion that came? So I think, should we get started then? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think I'll share my screen then. And then let's take a look at Grasp. Thank you. Okay, that's perfect. So here, here I have the website. So yes. I just go through the process and Let's see how it goes. So sign up. Go to Google. See here I'm clicking on my my account. I really like the those things on the side. Okay, nice. It goes straight into the the Chrome plugins. It it, it recognizes yes. I mean Arc and Arc is based on Chrome. So yes, it, it's a Chrome a, extension and yeah. yeah. So as extension. Okay, welcome, welcome to Glasp. So I can already see here. Yep. Can tag, share highlights, page com or well, page comments as interesting. Highlights and notes. No highlights found. Okay. So it's very so here is already kind of onboarding. Let's set up Glasp together. Yes. So being the glass with extension, it's here on my corner on the arc. Oh, you use arc? Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. 
Nice. So, Glasp. And it's there now. Glasp up. So I'm already signing because I just registered, yes. right? <laughs> highlight and notes, you're ready to highlight. Let's let's check it out. So or interesting. So here you can I have the four col four colors, like a pinkish, reddish, we'll say pink. Okay, that's good. Yellow, green, blue. There is an add a note and there's a share yes. on Twitter. I like that one. Share on Twitter. Yes. Let's see the share on Twitter, what happens. Mm. Okay, you are ready to highlight. Okay, that's interesting. I I like yes. that. Yes, that is like a like a highlighting and sharing on Twitter at the same time. So it's easier oh. for you to share the the snippets and also the title and the URL at the same time in one click. Oh, that that's really good. So I highlighted and it automatically choose the first one, right? Mm, yes. Definitely. Yes. Oh, and there's something else change. now. Uh, yeah, it's like a quote. It's like a quote shot. Mm -hmm. So what to, ah, okay. So I can have like an image for social media, for example. Yes. Is it something exactly. like that? Oh. Yes, exactly. Yes. Oh, that's cool. So square or landscape, because it depends a lot on the, on the platform as well, can download. Oh, that's really good. That that's really good because I can highlight from the the other people. But I act, we actually can highlight from ourselves. Let's say we write a blog post or we wrote something, and then we can highlight and share our own content as well. So I can I see how it can can be used to just quickly create some uh, social media content from our own content as well. So that's yes. that's interesting. And interestingly, some newsletter writers are sharing. That uh, quote image uh, in the newsletter and the blog, uh, as, mm -hmm. as you mentioned. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's it. Show your learning. You can see highlights and notes in your profile. So I suppose it's oh, here, it's, right? Uh, yeah, no, yeah. it's it's not here yet. Uh, so uh, if you click on the your light top, or oh, yeah, your profile or on, on the right. light top, you see, yeah, go, go to, to my, my page. page. Oh. So this is oh, okay. your profile, yes. Okay, I, I, I'm curious in going back to see what, what's the rest. Learn for like-minded. So there's a home feed, also my profile, I suppose. I suppose. Mm -hmm. And then a tutorial that we jump for now. Oh, glass with obsidian, notion, ROM, readwise, atomic interest graph. Oh, that. So how would be, for example, if obsidian or notion is, How how will be the the connection with those different apps? For example, if I don't use it, neither Obsidian nor Notion, is there a way to use it there automatically? So how how oh, how does it yeah. work? How does the yeah. integration of the apps work? Yes. So now, like uh, when you highlight something and you see copy all button on on the mm -hmm. sidebar, and then so that if you it's like a copy and pasting uh, at this moment, but we are working on like a third party integration so that you can easily, like uh, as you highlight and, and leave notes, it sync with uh, Notion and Obsidian. So that's what we are working on. But you see copy all button. Uh, yeah, if you click, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, you see the highlights and notes uh, in the sidebar. Yeah, highlight and notes. Yeah, then There's you see copy, copy all. all. Yeah. yeah, if you click it, and then if you, Open Notion or Obsidian, then and paste it. Then it formats uh, highlights and nodes, idle URL, and, and oh, for okay. you. Yep. Okay. And because in my case, for example, I use screen I don't use neither at the moment Obsidian or Notion for some things that I may want to highlight. Uh, and then that took my question: like how how can I how can I do that? Oh, in case uh, screen, I, I love screen, by the way. So, mm -hmm. and in that case, it, it's the same thing at this moment, like a copy mm -hmm. and a pasting. Uh, we help you, I mean, we doesn't bother you while you reading content, you know, you can just highlight and whenever you finish, you know, reading the content or mm -hmm. watching the video, you can copy and paste all the highlights and notes. I mean, uh, it's like a, yeah, one click uh, copy and paste to your note taking app mm -hmm. or personal knowledge uh, management system. 
if you create uh, yeah you just then if you hit command v yeah it's like mm -hmm. a markdown style yeah, yeah. so okay so then some, i think so yeah 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 because in screen they the, the not accept markdown as this so but that's one it's from the two it's not from your two right okay, okay so then it took up on a markdown format okay that's yes good. Is there any plan, for example, to have HTML format in the future? You know, uh, like yes. Uh, if you go to your profile and you can uh, actually download your uh, highlighted content as a, uh, you see on the right top, right or mm -hmm. not right top, but uh, the downloading button, like a cloud uh, next to videos. Next you to see videos, articles, yeah, yeah. favorite, and yeah, if you click it, you see. Oh. You can download your highlights and notes as a TXT, HTML, CSV, Markdown, a JSON format. I mean, for, for developers. Yeah. And when it's downloaded, it's actually download in, as a as a file, or is download just like copy into the clipboard? As, as, as a file, as a file, HTML, .html file. Okay. Yeah, it's not coming through for me. Oh, maybe it... it's an arc, arc oh. thing. Ah, uh, maybe. Uh... Yeah. Let me double check later. Yeah, mm -hmm. sorry yeah. for the inconvenience. It's okay. And I think, like for researchers, especially the most important thing for us when they think about highlighting is actually dealing with articles, <laughs> research articles, or P which are most of the time in PDF. So my question is, like, does GLASP work on PDFs online? Yes, Not PDF uh, on my machine, but online. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it works for PDF and. Uh, it's publicly hosted PDF at the moment. So let's say if you go to uh, any PDF files, you know, hosted mm -hmm. on the web. Uh, yep. Then, so no staking. Yeah, I, I love the topic. Let's yep. say no take handouts in the digital age. Yeah. If my internet contributes, <laughs> let's say another <laughs> one. Okay, cognitive I effort during no staking. Let's suppose I'm yeah. reading these and I found. Oh, uh, yeah. Usually there is there will be uh the the icon on the right top, but I don't see the the icons. Uh, so I think something is wrong. Uh, something be here. Let me. Do you think there may be something with arc versus Chrome? Oh, uh, maybe. Yes, I haven't used Arc yet. Uh, Arc mm -hmm. yet, so I don't. I'm not sure. I mean, if let's it's let's because... do it in Chrome. Let's do it in the way. Okay, thank you. Okay. How it's intended to be. So I just go into the extensions. Uh, I don't remember how to install extensions. So manage extensions. Are you sharing Chrome now? Oh, I no. see only yeah. a PDF. Ah, yeah. Okay. okay, cool. Yeah, so oh, I have cool. Chrome, yes. uh, Chrome extensions. I don't think I can search from here. These are just mine extensions. Uh, your, it's your extension. So if you... Yeah, let's go to Glass again. Is it... ah, yeah, thank you. Yes. So I start on Chrome. That's Chrome. Good. And let's spin again. It's good to have like a second second try with that. <laughs> so Sorry let's see. That. So we have the PDF. And if you ah, uh, I see. I see. Uh, I, I got. I got the reason. Uh, I think. Sorry. Can you let's say? Can you go to the this link PDF? Uh, it's sample sample PDF. Yeah. yeah. So now to detect PDF, Oops. uh, we check the URL. So I, I share the link on yeah. uh, Zoom uh, chat. Um, sorry to copy. So yeah. So you see the right top. You know, you see grass icon. Yeah. Yeah. And if you click that uh 
Oh, first you need to break the sorry grass pipe. Okay. Pipeline. Yeah, hand on grass so that oh. you are ready to highlight. And PDF is a, technically a little bit tricky. Uh, so, oh, mm -hmm. uh, did you sign in on Chrome no. extension? <laughs> oh, no, yeah, no, okay. so, yeah. Mm -hmm. so I think this should work on. Uh, I think uh, if you open the same file on Arc, I think. I guess now I am. Oh, it's I am yeah. On. yeah. Yes. So if you select the text, I think yeah, yeah you can highlight PDF. PDF is a little bit tricky format, so we should, we have some you know technically yeah. like uh, you know like yeah. I wonder bit. why it doesn't get those. Maybe because it's not a dot PDF or something. I don't know. Yeah, we, we check dot PDF uh in the URL so at this moment. So yeah, that's we, that this probably is, that's why because update. they yeah. they hide the dot PDF. <laughs> and because for for researchers, like the most important thing will be actually research papers. Mm -hmm. But you can usually we have a copy of the research. So if you have a copy, let's see how it goes. Have drive. I may pause for a moment. Okay, yes. Uh, you just get my papers, sources. Oh, it at this moment, I think it doesn't work for your personally hosted uh, PDF. Yeah, because it's, whole, it's hosted on Google Drive. Oh, I see. But I it also haven't... doesn't have .pdf in the, in the... I haven't tried uh, PDF file is hosted on Google Drive, so yeah. I'm not sure if it works or not, but yeah. Yeah, no, it's it's not. It's not oh, <laughs> okay. So, so it will work mostly for HTML, right? The HTML, yes, HTML. thing uh, and web, PDF is yeah. coming soon, right? Yes, PDF. You know, for some PDF files, uh, uh, works for some PDF files and web page, and also it works for YouTube videos too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, uh, so here I am on my home, I suppose. Let's yes, just go are... for my home. Let's see what else is there. So I have the highlights, so I can copy, I can add to favorites, mm -hmm. which will come here, right? Yes, yes. I can share yep. or delete the whole page, yes. or I can add a note, let's say. And I have a question. How long can this note be? Do you have anything like uh, that? How long? Uh, so any any long? I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. Can be like, like uh, yeah. 20 pages mm -hmm. of a note? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> it, I hope it, it should work. Yeah, I hope okay. it works. Yeah. OK. Because something I noticed that I take one sentence and I write like a <laughs> whole paper like multiple pages based on one sentence sometimes uh, and mm -hmm. on depending on the book yeah mm -hmm. so that's interesting so i hope it should so then if that. i share i share it publicly so anyone with the link can 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 see it right yes yes yeah, so and i i now i follow you uh on, on grass so if you, if you depress and yeah. you will see uh, me, ah, yeah, as a follower. So you see notification on the right top. Yeah. And if you click it, and yeah. Me follow you. And you can see what I'm reading and 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 leaving notes. And yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. The view AI summary. That's interesting as well. The document is good too. So you just take the all the highlights and then do, do a summary based on the highlights, or it does a summary based on the original page. Oh, summary based on the highlights. Uh, your highlights and notes, comments. So it's summary personalized uh, to you. Mm, okay. Uh, to, to, sorry, uh, to, to you know the, who who yeah. capture the content. Yeah. yeah. So then my highlights, Kindle. So you can actually send the Kindle highlights to there as well. Yes, right. you can import, and if you use uh, Kindle US or Kindle uh, Canada or somewhere, mm. you can import oh, from good. any country. Yes. 
that's good, that's good. Uh, so videos as well, YouTube, no more man manually typing. Mm -hmm. Let's see how how it how it works. So yes. here's a video that I had with with Nicole. Let's go oh, remove yeah. the ads. Remove the ads. <laughs> And if you, you see the, on the right top, you see the small widget, uh, see our grasp icon uh, and yeah, transcript yeah. and summary. And if you click it, it opens the transcript so oh, that you can see <laughs> whole transcript, you know, from the video. So you can, oh, wow. if, if you select the, the transcript, you can mm -hmm. highlight the, the, the content. Oh, wow, that's really good. So that you can highlight YouTube videos and yeah. Yeah, because taking notes from from videos is is not that easy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then when so, you yeah. okay, let let me create a highlight. I I had created already. Create a highlight. Oh, it did appear from here. Yeah. And does it when it gives me the link? It gives me the link to the minutes, or it's just to the whole, yeah. the whole video. Uh, if if you if you go to your page, uh, uh I mean grasp profile mm -hmm. page, and yeah, then if you uh yes, sorry, refreshing, the uh, you will see your highlights and with timestamp. Oh, that's so if you click it, it opens at the the that the specific time. Stamp. Stamp. Yeah, specific time. Oops, what did I do? <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Oh, okay, that's really, really good. So now I can take the notes based on that specific and gives already the link. And then if you copy, it gives the markdown of, yes. of that. Okay, exactly. That's, yes, that's really good. And that's also, really you good. can, if you uh, sorry, if you click the grasp uh, browser icon, so you can close the sidebar. And then if you scroll up to the top and so it's it's longer. But it? Yeah, you see the summary. Yeah, uh, AI we summary. integrate with uh, ChatGPT. So if you click it, you can see the summary of the video. Oh, sorry. Okay, I need to log in. But the concept is like you can see the summary of the video. Mm -hmm. uh, in, so we paste the whole title and transcript to the chat GVD. Oh. So you can see yeah. summary of the video in five seconds. Is that it. good? <laughs> Is it good? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you talk about many other things, uh, yeah. but the, what is there is, 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 is accurate. So that, I mean, you sometimes, you know, you don't want to watch, I mean, two, two hours video, one hour video, and you want to see, you know, the brief summary of the, you know, the concept of the video. So if you click the summary, view summary, so you can see that, uh, you know, like a short summary before you dive in into watching the video. And then my question is, for example, it works for YouTube, but if I have like a privately hosted, it's still a web page, right? A privately hosted video, it will not work, right? The, vi yeah, the video so, needs to be visible to Glasp somehow. Yeah. So if it? you let's say uh, on in case of YouTube uh, domain, so if you upload the video like a privately, but if you can access the, the transcript of the video, so you can summarize, but others ca cannot see. It. I mean, only you. If you have access to it, and you can summarize, and yeah. Yeah, because my my because I'm thinking like as a researcher, like uh, we do a lot of uh, uh, interviews. For example, you want to analyze the date of those interviews, and there are many people they want the the transcript of the interviews is a part that is like oh, it's just like it is annoying, and then we want to take notes of all those interviews. We highlight place. We do the codings as we call. Yeah, so but the, all those videos are not publicly available. They are very private. They're like secure, you know, need a secure place. Uh, it cannot be shared with anyone. But they still like we need to. We can watch them. Like we have access to the video itself. 
So if you have, let's say, an internal place where you can host them, and that was my question, like, can we pro use GLASP to process that, or is it only for videos which are publicly available? Uh, yeah, so at this moment, like the old highlights goes to public, but we are working on private mode. So once we have private mode, and I mean the group function and uh, private mode, so you can highlight, uh, you know, content uh, privately or within your team, uh, groups, you know, your, of your friends. And another way I would suggest at this moment is like uh, if you, uh, if you open the the, the, the transcript, uh, could you open the transcript again? Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Just clicking. Yeah. Yeah. Then you see the copy uh, icon on the top. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Copy transcript. So you can copy transcript so that if you copy it and and let's say paste it to Google Google Docs or Notion so that mm -hmm. you can how to say share. I mean, you know, on Google Docs or Notion, and you can highlight and leave comments. So at this moment, I think this uh, workflow helps you or your team, you know, sharing insights on specific, I think, snippets. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, because that will be. So I'll just pause again, because then I will, I will take a, a video that is not available. So just share account and, and stuff like that. So, because I have one video that is easy in YouTube, but it's not available online. I have a, a few of those. Then let's just see if it works on those types of videos. Nothing better than a live demo. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. So, okay. I really love your newsletter and, and YouTube videos. And thank you so much for reading this in, in this space. Oh, oh thank you. Thanks for, thanks for really for taking the time. So I found here, so let's see. So this is a video that is not like it's unlisted, which means like it's not publicly available, but I still have the option here. So let's see, yep. and yes, it's there. So perfect. This is well a webinar that I run, so I don't have the, the link available. Oh, but I actually oh, saw this perfect. video on, on your YouTube channel, uh, I guess. Yeah, yeah, some time ago, like, yeah, you, 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 you probably have access because especially because you are in my mailing list, so you have access uh, to this. Yeah, I see. I yeah. see. So yeah, so I have can have the whole transcript. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, I'm still trying to understand like how how you, how does Glasp get access to the video through my computer, or Glasp has access to the video direct to the server? Because if it's through my computer, if I have even a private video that I can access through a browser, to the Chrome browser, and then Glassp would be able to process that transcript. Otherwise, uh, it depends a lot on if Glassp can see the video or not, right? Oh, we, we cannot, I mean, we're not, but first of all, we we don't track, you know, your browsing history or your browsing mm, yeah. content, first of all, yeah. yeah. Then, I mean, we cannot access anything, you know, you store in your personal computers. So yeah, it's because yeah. just yeah. a Chrome extension, right? And yeah. then, but if you have access, let's say if you host a video on YouTube, uh, let's say mm -hmm. not publicly, but privately, but if you can access to the, the video and if the video has a transcript transcript data, so you can process, I mean, you can see the transcript, you know, as you, as you see. Oh, okay. So yeah. then you, you get the transcripts from the video that already has a transcript, let's say. If the video doesn't have a transcript, yeah. don't, you don't do the transcript, let's say. You're just yeah, accessing yeah, the yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. okay, yeah. Well, yeah, because for, so uh, no for research, that, yeah. you, yeah, for research, <laughs> you want to actually to do the transcript for us <laughs> because <laughs> you don't have the transcript. <laughs> okay. So jump to current. But if you have the transcript, then, then you could possibly uh, do the annotations yes. there. Yes. Okay, so there we have save it highlights. Save it highlights when you save from another person. Is that the case? Yes, uh, another person. Yes. So if you go to home feed and let's say find like content from me, I'm going up. Uh, let's see, learning, knowledge management, self improvement. say it's a uh, topics and for you and if you yeah yeah let's say if you 
uh, uh, yeah, you can, if you follow me, oh, yeah, if you want to, yeah, but I know it works, yeah. So I can, you, yeah, how can uh, I see save? the uh, on the right top in the content? You see the uh, small ribbon, right? Yeah, oh, okay, the bookmark, save so content. Bookmark. okay, yeah. and then it's now in my, my saved, yes, these are your saved, right? So yes, to see it, my is, saved, yeah, yeah, I need to yeah. go to my highlights and then save it, yes, okay, okay, that's it. Opening. So what else you would suggest me to, to oh, see? So, what, what is this? <laughs> oh, it, this is an interesting concept. Uh, it's a hatching idea. So if you go, if you click it and it takes you to hatching idea. So based on things you curated and highlighted. Yeah. And if you, let's say if you click uh, pick randomly, mm -hmm. um, it randomly select two content from mm -hmm. your you know highlighted content. And, oh, okay. And so that yeah, you can you see could... like what comes from the the junction between those two. Yes, yes, connections and yes, mm -hmm. and, and because we use the language model, large language models like AI to help you connect ideas. So mm -hmm. as you curate information, and we help you. I mean, this uh, hatching idea helps you connect ideas for you. So mm -hmm. and yeah, and okay. if you click That's hatch enough. now, it hatches you know content for you. It it takes you know a little bit of time, but it yeah. creates a uh, five paragraph of essays for you based on the highlights and notes and, and the comments. Wow, well, that's interesting. Let's see, let's see what will come out of that. Yep, it takes a little bit of time, but yeah. sorry, no, yeah, I mean, yeah, 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 no worries. Right. Is the code API and everything. So, oh, yeah. Okay. It's hard to, if you, I don't know how how it works, but important. Important to take for academic research and knowledge creation. Yes, this is the content you, we helped you, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, collect the idea. I like the title. Important to take the question I meant to do. I like this one. <laughs> oh, thank you. Like, yes. yeah. so, so, and, and, yeah, and, so, and then where, where does it save this? Because I want to read this later. <laughs> so you can share the link with your friends or anyone so that, you know, mm -hmm. it, I mean, yeah. So you can. But it saves yeah. my my profile somewhere or, or it's just like yeah, temporary. It, uh, if you, you see the Bianca's hatch on the top. Yeah. Uh, 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 no, the center of the top of the center. Of uh, the yeah, top. yeah, yeah. If you click it, and yeah, this is the the library of your hatch, mm -hmm. so you can see. Yeah, you can see. So if I go back to my my place here and I go hatch, is that oh, same it's a way? it's a button to go to uh, generate hatch. Uh, but uh, mm -hmm. yeah, we, actually, sorry, the, the this uh, yeah. feature recently we did this, then we are somehow mm -hmm. collecting. I mean, showing it on user profile now oh, so okay. it's a little bit separate but in the future it will be you know you can access uh from oh, okay. your profile page yeah. okay, okay i have so many screens that i don't know where i was anymore <laughs> i'm so used <laughs> to the arc now that i'm like well <laughs> then outer highlighted right is where someone tag as an outer they highlight to be sure yep if let's say if I highlight your content, you know, your blog, mm -hmm. newsletter or YouTube video, then I can tag you, uh, tag people like you. And then if I tag uh, your content, so it will be here. So you um, can see what your readers or audience are capturing in, in your content. Okay, so let's suppose that there was this and then I can actually tag. Uh, only the time that I'm I'm writing the highlight that I can tag. I oh, know it's the content that I can tag, right? Uh, yeah, content. Yes, content and uh, here. By I could say, for example, zero. Yep. This is a 
Okay. Uh, it's 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 you, right? So meeting. Uh, I think. Uh, uh you don't need to type uh, at. Uh, so ah, let's say okay, yeah. Kazuki, okay, and yeah, you uh, see me, and yeah. yeah. Okay. So I remove cause. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. okay, so dom you can see the domains that I have highlighted most, and yes. then the tags uh, that I have. At the moment, I don't have any tags because it's not. Okay. And I can filter most view, most link open, page comment, highlight note, auto tag, and the colors. Okay, that's it. So it's really like a place, I say, a place to. To manage my highlights uh, at the moment, mostly for HTML page and some PDF. If the PDF appears in the in the name of the of the file, right in the, in the link of the file, there is this PDF, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so yes. those are the main ones. And you can create notes at the level of the highlight. You cannot. Can you create a note at the level of the the file itself, or just at the highlight uh, yes. level? You see the thoughts and comments, uh, yeah. right? So it's a comment or notes mm -hmm. uh, on, the, on the page itself. It's like a page comment. Yes. And when you copy, because you have this option from some copy all, you can copy these as well, or? Yes, uh, if you see on, on the right top, you see the copy content button. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, if you copy it and if you paste it to, Let's say somewhere, so you see the the the, the title URL and, and thumbnail, page comment and and high notes. Okay, let me share. Screen. Okay, it's also a markdown, but yeah. So you see. Metadata, title, URL, highlighted by page yeah, comment. Yeah, page comment. Yes. Okay. And yeah, because yeah, that's really good because sometimes you say, well, I'm reading this for this intent with this intention. This is the purpose why I'm reading or even just bookmarking this this page for now so that I can take notes uh, at some point in the future, a bit later. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so then that's one of the things that you may want to to do later is have okay. When I copy all the notes, like I'm reading this whole page for this reason, and those are my my notes with uh, with the respective uh, highlights that give origin to those notes. So that that's a good uh, important thing to have at least for me. Thank you. Yes. And okay. yeah, actually, uh, also Grasp uh, has a third party integration like a Leadwise. So if you Click the share button on the right top. You see the small arrow. Uh, 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 not, sorry, not, not this one. Uh, this one? Yes, yes. So if you click it and see. Uh, export to read wise. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, it's it's a third party integration. So yeah, automatically, you know, send it to read wise if you like it. And yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Like many people like to use read wise, especially as a read later app and to. Yep. To manage their highlights, so it's good that it has uh, integration. Yep. It's like TXT, CSV, HTML, and Markdown. That's good, and even download highlight images. Yes, so the nice, the nice images. Yes. Okay, so that's that's really interesting. Uh, I think like for for research, there is uh, some uh, there is use for research. But again, like there is a PDF thing we are like a lot into PDF. I don't know why this is a legacy thing because we publish research online. We don't publish research in print anymore. So there is no reason. I don't think there is any reason to be a PDF. Could be just HTML page, you know, where you have an option for PDF. And there could be other formats. I think even more open formats for research, but we are not there yet. So at the moment there are PDFs behind paywalls in a in a website somewhere so yeah so that's the thing that we are be using uh, most yeah uh, so it'd be really interesting in the future to see how glass could you could be used for that because for researchers uh research papers and pdfs are, are a very big thing uh, and it's very interesting very good the part of the transcripts for the videos uh, again like if you can 
deal with videos that are more behind uh, uh, our paywall or something, or videos that we can uh, have a find a way to transcribe and you can use the highlights as well on those videos. So I think for researchers, for the interviews, that will be very important. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think like that's, that's and it's interesting as it's, uh, it's just one click away and it appears already. You are watching a video, sorry, not this one. You're watching a video and it appears there. So it's already there. Yep. So yep. that's, that's good. Okay. Thank you, yeah. So and actually, actually, I used to be yeah. in academics, so I finished. I have several master's degree, and yeah, mm -hmm. I, I used to read a lot uh, in PDF. So we should have, you know, we should improve, you know, uh, PDF highlighting function. And yeah, thank you so much for, for the suggestion and the feedback. So I just want to say thank you very much for taking this time uh, and give us this first experience uh, of of GLASP. Uh, I really like the, the this onboarding series because we can, it's really unfiltered. It's really like, how do you go about that? And we go together. So thanks a lot for coming this journey with me, for sharing the app and say, we are working on those things. I really like the idea of the hat. <laughs> and I think many people like will enjoy that because they have their own work. They can highlight a few pieces they can they want to write about, for example, and then they can use the hat to try to help them maybe create a context, a content, or a summary uh, based on that. So if you, it can serve as inspiration for our content based on our own ideas, based on the notes that we have been taking. So that's, that's I think, uh, many people appreciate uh, the help on that as well. I think that's it's something interesting to play with. Uh, so I want to say thanks a lot uh, for this opportunity. And I'm really looking forward to see like how will be the future of CLASP, and especially on the PDF side of things. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. So yes. if anyone wants to try GLASP, so what is the what's the website again? Uh, so uh, please go to glasp.co.co, mm -hmm. G-L-A-S-P.co. So uh, mm -hmm. yeah, so you okay. can install and sign up uh, from there. And thank you so much. Okay. For so glasp.co and thanks okay. a lot. Bye-bye. So that was the experience of checking out GLASP for the first time. I hope you enjoyed the process and I see you in the next episode.